All right, so that kind of sucked there. Um, the story did say that was one of the hardest par fours I'll ever play, and yeah, I can definitely agree with that. That's that's a really tough par four. Uh, par four. So not a bad front nine. Um, you know, three over right now. Anyway, head on to the tenth hole, par four, four seventy-seven. Donald Gray Great, we're gonna be taking just over the right side of this fairway, kind of splitting that in the trees and hitting just a slight draw, try to get something out there in the fairway. I got away with one there. I, think, I still think I clipped the top of those trees, but we're in the fairway, that's all that matters. Got 172 yards to that pin. It's on the right edge. I'm gonna be playing it probably 180 and try to start this at the pin and draw it a little left towards the center of the green. You can see that's, another, that's the left side of the green there, so I got a lot of green to work with up there. So, just try to get this one on the green and hopefully try to make a birdie. No, or, or, Nothing worse than par. Uh, pretty good shot there. Got away with one a little bit. Um, had a side hill line. I thought that ball would go left and it stayed dead straight. Luckily though, there was more room left of that pin or to the yeah to the right of that pin than I thought there was. So got away with that. Probably got about a 20 footer for birdie. See if we can roll one in. Uh, not a bad par there. Um, just came out of that putt a little bit, but you know, two putts walking off with a par is never bad. Uh, we're on to the 11th hole now, par three. 209 yards from the back tees, gonna be hitting a five iron. Starting at the center of the green and try to work the ball back into that pin. See if we can put one close and maybe walk up with a birdie. So unfortunately, did not hit the best tee shot. I am still on the green, but I have a long putt. So really just trying to get this within five or six feet and try to get myself a chance at par. Uh, uh, got away with one there. First putt was not good, hit 12 feet past, but able to roll the second putt in, so that definitely helps us out there. Now onto the 12th hole, par four, 450. 
Okay, we're trying to take the driver just right at that 150 mark, the little draw. Try to put myself in good position to get on the green too. All right, pretty good drive there. You can see the tee boxes back there, kind of split the 150 post in the trees. Got 165 into this pin, playing slightly uphill, gonna hit eight iron, play at about 170, and just start a little right and try to work it back towards that pin with the draw. Uh, you can see the ball right there, a little right of the pin. And from my perspective, that ball must have had a little bit of mud on it. Because that shot right off the club. And I usually do not hit a cut. So, still not a terrible shot though. Probably got about 30 feet for birdie. Try to roll as close and get out here with two putts and walk on to the next hole at the park. All right, so once again, not a bad par. Keeping the par streak alive, never bad. Um, that one to one of probably the hardest holes I think I'll ever play. 698 yard par five, slight dog leg left. Green is way back behind that hill. I mean, this is absolutely insane. I'm out of breath just from walking up this hill. It's got a cart right down there. But I'm aiming this one up the right side and just going full force with the driver. Go. Give that one a rip. 698 yard par five. All right, so I absolutely murdered that tee shot. Carried 300 and got about a yard of roll. Maybe even, probably less than a yard, probably about a foot. Um, there's the green out there, still 398 yards, pretty much into a headwind. I'll be ripping three wood over that bunker and just try to get something out there close to the green. Mud ball galore. Alright, so had a little bit of a mud ball there. Hit these trees and dropped down. You can see the green. It's right back over there. Don't really have a shot at it, so I'm gonna be taking a driver or seven on that line to try to hook it around and see if I can chase one up close to this green.
that up a lot. So, really nice up and down there to save a uh, five. I'm uh, hoping 698. I didn't think I played it that bad. Just got a little unlucky having mud on my ball for my second shot. So if you guys don't know, if you have mud on the right side of your ball, it's gonna go left. And if you have mud on your left side of the ball, it's gonna go right. Don't ask me why, it, that's just what it does. And I think it was a prime example of what happened on my shot. So, I was able to get up and down though save a par so that really feels good definitely rolling it well today but now on to the 15th hole or 14th hole sorry par three playing 214 or 214 gonna be playing probably 210 so i'm gonna be hitting a five iron at right at that pin i know i can miss a little left there's water left and short if you pan over there's one of the other holes right there i want to say that's the next hole so we got some fun holes coming up so here we go see if we can put this on the green and try to make a birdie That hit a pretty good shot there. Probably got about 20, 20 to 25, 20 to 25 feet for birdie. I just want to show you guys. Look at the view of the next hole. Our tee box is all the way up top of that hill for the next hole. And this is the angle I have for the next hole. I mean, are you kidding me? This course is truly insane. If you're ever in the Birmingham area, Highly recommend playing this course. It is amazing. All right, so good part there. Um, not really much to talk about on that hole. I don't really know what else to talk about besides this next hole, 15. Uh, 452 from the tips. There's the last green right there, just looking for the elevation change. That's the hole right here. I mean, it's absolutely insane. This course is on steroids, but I mean, it's probably one of the coolest courses I've ever played. So. For this hole, I'm gonna be taking it probably just right of that fairway of the short fairway bunker with a little draw and just try to keep it in the fairway. And then I don't know if you can tell, looking up at the green, the pin's on the back left. Right up against the water, so definitely gonna be a fun hole. Let's see what we can do. Bunker or it got over it. Alright, so definitely got away with one there. Pulled it just a little bit left of the fairway. Have 136 yards into this pin, which is all the way on the left side of this green with a slope left of it as well. 
I'm taking a 50 degree and try to put it just in the center of the green. Hope it's hopefully it'll slow back to the pin. If not, at least I'm on the green. I'm putting. So should I put this on the green and give ourselves give ourselves a chance at birdie? That's good. I hit a pretty good shot there. Um, did come out just a little softer than I thought it would, but you know our goal was center of the green, and that's exactly where we got it. Probably got about a 30 footer now for birdie. Uh, looking to just roll this one close and get out of here with the park. That was an awesome birdie right there. And that's, I think, one of the hardest holes on the course. So making that putt there for birdie really felt good. So now we're on to our last par five of the day. Hole 16, par five, 572 yards, shortest par five of the day. So we're gonna try to squeeze one out there just left of those bunkers. A little into the wind, so we're gonna try to flight one down and try to put a ball out there and play. Alright, good drive there. See the tee box was way back there. I have two, about 260 to the middle of the screen. Into a headwind, I'm gonna be taking a three wood and just going for that pin. Worst case scenario, I end up in one of the bunkers, but I'll be up there in two. So, take a three wood, try to start it just right of the pin, and let's give it a rip. Ends up. Cool. All right, so hit a pretty good shot here. The three would just off the back of the green. I am lucky that ball stopped where it did because look what's down there. Just to give you guys a bit of reference for, yeah, just to give you guys a bit of reference for, I mean, how high the slope is. I'm at the base and that's your view. You have a short shot to a firm green from the base of this hill, and it's insane. So I got really lucky that ball stopped where it did. But probably got about about 30 feet for eagle. Let's see if we can roll this one in or put it close and tap him for birdie. All right, so that was a really good birdie there. Um, misread the first putt a little bit, but really happy to make that six footer to get my third birdie of the day. Um, I just thought I'd mention this, not saying it's gonna happen, but there has never been a official round under par from the tips at this course. So the fact that I'm this close is really cool. I still have two holes left, but this next hole is a beast. 
17 502 par 4. See the green right out there? I'm gonna try to take a driver kind of right at those bunkers, maybe just right of them with a little draw to put myself in a good position to hopefully make another birdie. I had to hit a pretty good shot, left it just a bit right of where I wanted it, and have 200 yards into this back pin location. So, I'm gonna be hitting a six iron, just trying to get something on the green, give myself a chance at birdie. If not, if not, try to get it close enough to the green where I still have a good chance at par. So we've given ourselves a chance. We got on the green. Um, that's a really tough second shot, with, especially with that pin being on the back right. So on the green, I'm really happy with. Probably gonna have about a 35 footer. I think it's try to roll this one in, but no worse than two and try to move on to 18 with a good round. I, I just wanna show you guys, look at the view from this green. This course is massive and it's got some great views that's the range right there and there's holes on the other side of the range that just shows you how big this range this course really is i mean this is absolutely insane by far one of the coolest courses i've ever played All right, so not a bad part there at all. Um, really wanted a birdie, but I was talking with my mom who's with me on this trip right now. And we both agreed that that's a hole that even tour pros would have trouble birdieing. 502 with a pin tucked on the back right, up against water. Walking off with par is a pretty good score. So also not too upset about that. Now, here we go, moving on to 18. Part four, this hole is, I want to say 470. I haven't actually looked at the plate yet. 487. So long hole here. Gonna be basically trying to hit driver in between those two bunkers. If anything, made just left of that bunker on the left. And there's our green right there over some more water. So this will be a fun finishing hole. And here we go, let's put one in play. Hit a really nice drive to finish out on. I only got 176 into a front pin location. That drive went right about 300 yards, which is pretty good for not getting much rollout today. So you can see there's the pin just over that bunker. Wind is slightly off the right, so I'm gonna be taking it kind of right where those guys are. I'm gonna try to draw it in with the eight iron and try to put it one close and close out with one more birdie. Come on, big 
good. Oh. Uh, I got a chance. All right, guys, we have a chance. We're just past the pin, probably 35 feet. I just want to show you the view from this green. I mean, this is truly amazing. That's the ninth hole right there, and I mean, this is an awesome view. The camera does not do it justice, but I mean, this is truly one of the best courses I've ever played. Definitely, definitely recommend you guys coming out here to play. All right, so just finished the round. Honestly, a great course. Um, shot one over 73 after a three over front nine, two under back nine. I would definitely be out to play this course again. I mean, this course is amazing. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this style of video and I'll see you next time.